Hey there guys and welcome back to Get Going Fast where we're getting into this excellent hobby of AI in a quick and efficient manner in which you actually might learn something. Imagine that. So uh, today we're going to be looking at um, the probably one of the easiest ways to run the new context model and that is going to be through our favorite app of Cobalt CPP. Now if you guys remember Cobalt CPP is a chat program that um, you can actually end up loading uh, chat models onto, you know, so you could talk like a, uh, a flirty valley girl pirate with a lisp or, you know, do your role playing stuff or, or just get your basic knowledge stuff. You can download things from Hug and Face, work with it. Well, um, it also can run image generations. It really is a powerful model for that kind of thing. Um, the guys that work on this really make it an all-in-one thing and what they've done here is they've actually given us the ability to use context so you can see here changing up some color just some basic stuff this is really simple stuff but changing up the hair colors changing up the shirts this kind of stuff putting a puppy in her arms this kind of thing here, here i put her on this is the weirdest photo put her on a uh, thing uh dinosaur but i didn't make the image <laughs> tall enough so it shrunk it all into a thing but this is all running context and this is probably going to be the easiest uh way to run context because it's going to download everything for you going to get it going and how does it do it you ask are you are you're going to be amazed at how simple this is so i'm going to show you that but before i do that thank you for liking and subscribing um to the channel you know i was at the uh dentist today you know they've got all of that stuff on your face and they're doing things and if you're ever in that situation and you know they ask you are you okay start you start muffling and they're rrr, 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 and they what 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 they remove it to hit so you can speak and just be like get going fast have you heard about it what did you guys thinking about ai while you're working on my teeth um and that's really a great opportunity to share about the channel and what's going on so thank you for doing that you're really committed i appreciate that about you so we're gonna get on with showing you how to run context in cobalt cpp and guys guess what there's more than just this this is just the 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 spearhead this the, was it the tip of the spear that's the thing i'm saying for for the things you can do with cobalt uh cpp and um i'm gonna show you so let's get on with the getting on, yo. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna get into uh, running up, uh, loading up Cobalt CPP. I'm gonna show you how to update it because we need to make sure that it's updated. And then we're gonna be using something that is called a config file. It's, uh, um, it's called a KCPPT file. And it's a way that you can actually um, load models it you, you get models in there you get everything you wanted you put it into a config file then you load that it actually will download everything for you it sets the settings for you all of that okay one of the absolute easiest ways to get going with cobalt cpp um and i'll tell you what it would be a real pain it would be difficult for us to set to to load the context without that but really all we're going to do is we're going to load it we're going to click it, it's going to load up, and then we're done. Now, this is also going to work for other models too, like if you're wanting to try Deep Seek, or you're going to be wanting to try Lunaris and all this. And in fact, what I'm going to be doing uh, with this is I'm actually going to be um, offering uh, individual models for you to download. So if you want to play with K uh, Cobalt CPP and you want to try different models, I'm going to put up... Um, KCPPT files for Gothic Horror, so you can try that. A great, it's one of my favorite role playing models. It's just so, it's so, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's got good language. We're going to put up again the Lunarist. We're going to put up things like context. And so this way you can actually get into trying chatbot stuff without having to go find it, without having to really know what to do. You just, I'm going to show you how to load these up. And these will be available over at getgoingfast.pro. Yo. Okay. Uh, and they'll be available for Prairie Dogs. I'm going to put them up for Prairie Dogs, or you can buy them. You know, it'll be like seven bucks for one, or just join as a seven dollar Prairie Dog member. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to switch over to our desktop screen view here. And beautiful thing about Cobalt CPP is it's just a single file. Okay, so 
if you want to download it, what you do, well, you do want to download it. If you haven't downloaded it, you just go to Cobalt CPP Download. Okay, it brings you over here to this Lost Ruins GitHub. And so we're just going to click on that. And you'll go scroll down to uh, here. Download the latest Cobalt CPP. And we're going to be one needing version 1.95.1. .1. So we'll go ahead and download this one here is what you're going to want old kcp if you don't if you're running an amd you'll want this no cuda version if you're running an old pc um context probably is going to be out of your thing but you can run other models with this old pc i have ran this on a hundred dollar machine before using the old pc version this is an amazing app it's an incredible app okay but let's assume that you've already downloaded it so once you get it you install it and it's going to be important to put this in the place where you want the models to download because I'll show you why but we're gonna go ahead and click this and it's gonna bring up our load screen okay and this is what our load screen looks like okay now if you already have this you want to check the version at the top here if it's not 1.95.1 .1, click the update button and it'll just take you back to where we just were and then you'll just have to re-download it since it's a single file it doesn't actually update and you just got to re-download it but here's what we're going to do we could um you know have downloaded a model from hugging face and click browse to find it or we could use the hugging face search thing here to search for it but instead what we're going to do is we're going to click load config okay and then we're going to go down here and notice i've got a few different kcpt things here i've got deep seek audio transcription there's one for flux we're going to be using here's one for Gemma. um there's a starter pack. We're going to use this Flux Context KCPPT, okay? And we're going to click Open. Now, you can get this by going over to getgoingfast.pro. Um, and if you're a Prairie Dog member, um, org hire, you can just download it for free. That's where it is available, okay? That's the only place that um, you're going to get this from me, okay? You might be able to find other KCPP. That's where you can get it from me. But we just click that Load Config load it in there and then we're going to click launch okay now notice it says clip l already exists all this already exists what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and download it if you haven't already downloaded these things it will download and that's the beauty of these kcppt files okay is that uh it will go find it for you You don't need to do anything look at it. it's going to grab this the quant four okay so it's not a high quant but um it's it's enough that um that it's going to work okay and i know that that's one of the things that the developers are always wanting to do is they're wanting to make sure it works so you could change that up actually while that's loading we could go over to our kcppt file we can click edit in notepad and you're gonna see this is what it looks like okay so this is whoops so dang it this is uh what it looks like and in here you'll find the model somewhere you'd have to there it is uh q4 so you could actually change it right here you'd go find the different quant if you wanted okay you could put the q5 in there um and then it would be the same thing you just load it it will download that okay but we just use the one that's there because it works now notice what it does it's going to bring us up to our normal cobalt cpp page but watch what happens if i type something hi it's not going to work okay and the reason is because there is no chat bot actually installed in fact the first time you load this it'll it'll say that something's missing it'll ask you if you want to load the sdui and you do okay if we go over here you're going to notice that it says stable ui is available at here and you just notice it says sdui so let's click that this is going to bring up this. This is where we're going to be able to generate images. Okay. So down here, you'll notice that our reference images, this is where context really shines is using reference images. This is where we're going to put them in here. We're going to type it in here. We can go click on images, see the stuff we've created. Again, there was, a, I threw that gal in there, changed her shirt, right? Okay. Changed her hair color. Okay. And you do that over here by clicking generate. Now, what I did with this is I just clicked one. So if you bring this up, I'll go to my pictures. Where are we at? Okay, and let's say I grab her. OK, 
Okay, now it doesn't give you a preview. This is, okay, let me just straight up say, this isn't the greatest version of a context graphical user interface, okay? And the developers admit that. This is basically a way to get into it, okay? So there are other ones that out there, the Comfy UI, you're gonna see the preview of the image you put in there. There's certain settings that are not gonna be in this, but this is gonna get you in the game. Okay, so I just wanna point that out real quick. Now, we put our image in there, we go up here and we can type the prompt. And let's just say, uh, remove the cowboy hat. And we'll click generate one image and it's gonna go ahead and start to do that for us, okay? Um, so you got all this stuff you can play with. Really, what the Cobalt CPP guys are trying to do is they're trying to create an app that you can do a little bit of everything. Now, where Cobalt CPP really shines is in the chat interfaces, okay? But if you're a big Cobalt CPP guy like I am, it's kind of nice to have a little thing that I can go to really quickly if I wanted to. So there it had it went ahead and created, it took her hat off. That's context, okay? It's basically a giant in-painting thing. But let's go ahead, I could clear image. Now if I want to put two images in here, we could put uh, her and we'll put, uh, oh, let's put him in there. And let's go have him hug or something like that. But now, again, I've mentioned this before, the big thing about running context is that it's heavy prompt relying on prompt you got to get the prompt right so we're gonna especially when you're using two things what I typically do is I go like this I'll say um, using uh, I'll say place these two images in one scene the cowgirl is hugging the cowboy and I'm gonna actually make this a little bit taller so that it all fit on there hopefully. And then let's click generate, okay? And it's gonna go ahead and do that for us. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for just a second because there's something I wanna do, but we'll be right back when it's done. Okay, and we're back here and we can see it took the picture and it put them together there, those two love birds. Hi yo, that's not bad. So that's context, this is the absolute easiest way to get into this, okay? All we did was opened up a cobalt CPP and uh, <laughs> uh, loaded the config file. Now, again, I wanna point out that you can get these config files over here. Let's, let's get off of, uh, let's get off of here real quick. Do, do, do. We can get that over here. Let's go to browser, pop us back on over. Okay, boy, those sunlights are driving me crazy. But uh, here, so you can actually get here by clicking beep, beep, bap, bap, bap. Just go to kcppt.getgoingfast.pro, all right? And it will bring you back to this exact same page, okay? And from here, uh, we're gonna have, I'm still updating this, but you're gonna have a list of available kcppt files, all right? Now, these are gonna be mostly free for all Prairie Dog members, so if you're Prairie Dog, uh, you can click on, on them and get them. There are a few I might hold out and um, only will be available in the shop or ones that um, I give as a drop, you know, it's sort of a, hey, watch it guys, this is gonna be coming down sort of thing, okay? Um, also wanna point out that you can download the latest version of Cobalt CPP here. I also have a version called the SoundBot, which um, you could actually find by doing a search. We'll talk more about that later, but there's also a SoundBot version uh, on here that I created that's just a little bit more secure. Cobalt CPP runs in your browser, which means that it is cached. I, I have a non-cached version of this. It doesn't save anything. You close it, it all locks down. So um, I'll be updating that and sharing that with you as well. But the bottom line is kcppt.getgoingfast.pro. You can go get this context. I'll upload this now. By the time this video is up there, uh, it will be over here. You can grab it there if you're a Prairie Dog member. If not, just join at seven bucks. You can get it. You also get the news. You get some other... Uh, cool little apps of uh, farmhand members is obviously our biggest one you get everything on the site and I've got other memberships uh, levels as well you, uh, you can join as a rancher uh, which is a little bit more and you're gonna get about an hour or two of my time 
uh, with that. I'll help you on a project for about an hour or so. Um, and then we've got our gunslinger, which is the big boy one. And I'll actually set up your computer for you. I'll actually go ahead. Um, we'll zoom. I'll get in, teach you everything you need to know. It's like a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session. So, but anyway, we're talking about Cobalt CPPT and we're talking about context and now you know how to do it. So with that, let's go ahead and tie this up. Guys, Cobalt CPP is awesome. So I love it. It is my, uh, it's gotta be, if, if not my favorite app, uh, my number two app or, you know, it's just one of those that like sits at number one and, and other number ones come in. It just, it just is. Okay. It's, uh, you can't rank it because it's Cobalt CPP. I love it. It's the greatest app that there is. I use it all the time. It's the oldest app, app I've been using for the longest amount of time as well. And uh, now we've made it even easier so that you can get into it as well. Go play with context. Send us your stuff. Show us what you're working on. I want to see. Uh, I don't even have to worry about you sending me not safe for work stuff because context will not do not safe for work stuff. So send me the stuff you're working on. I'd. Uh, love to see your creativity and I can even highlight it on here if you send me a page So with that, we're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna give you a big old yo, and we will catch you on the other side. Yo